morning everyone um so for 2020 i have made myself a promise that i'm going to bring you more video content so seeing as the sun is shining today there's a little bit of warmth i'm feeling very spring like i thought i would show you my quick makeup spring like look um it's super fresh it's a bit glowy and yeah it's super easy to do i've just got a few bits and pieces here so i will show you what i'm using as i do my makeup so i've already prepped my skin i've already used my moisturizer which is the doctor oh gosh what is it called i've completely forgotten what it's called <laughs> Um, oh, Dr. Robux. Um, it's a moisturiser that um, is from Australia. So I don't actually have it to hand, but I will pop a picture of it um, underneath this video. Um, so yeah, I've already used that on my skin as my moisturiser. Um, it's a super hydrating moisturiser. My skin's been a little bit dry. Um, at the moment, so yeah, really like that. Um, I've also used the anti-pollution sunshine drops by drunk elephant so this just gives a really nice kind of bronzy glow um yeah it's a, it's a liquid consistency so i'll pop a little bit on my hand so you can see there and i put a little bit too much on but yeah um so i've just kind of done that super subtle <laughs> not like that um on my face, kind of tops of the cheekbones, normally where the sun would hit if you would get a slight suntan. Um, so here, just up here in the temples and just kind of around the jawline as well. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm not gonna use a primer today cause you know, I'm just kind of out and about running a few errands, picking the kids up from nursery and school. So it doesn't really matter. I don't really need my makeup to last for a long time. So I'm just gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation 24 Hour Fresh Wear. I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna get my foundation brush, which is a Real Techniques, um, what's it called? Expert Face Brush. I actually picked this brush up in Home Bargains, I believe it was, um, a few weeks ago, it was on special offer. Um, yeah, it came in a little kit. So yeah, it's fab for just a super quick application of your foundation. Now, typically I don't wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis, but I've had a little bit of a breakout here, so I just, me personally, I just want to go in with a little bit extra coverage. Um, yeah, just to kind of even things out. Remember and always bring it down your neck. I've got a big polo neck on. Even though the sun's shining, it is a bit more mild than what it was yesterday. It, there's still a little bit of a chill in the air. So yeah, super cosy. So yeah, as you can see, that's just kind of evened out. I didn't really even use all of the pump that I put on the back of my hand. I just want a super light coverage. I'm just gonna check in the mirror, make sure that's all kind of blended in, which it is. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer and this is the Tarte Shape Tape, my all time favorite concealer. Got that all over my leggings, never mind. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop a little bit. So I'm just kind of concentrating it where there's more kind of darkness. And I'm just gonna pop it there. Cause we have a little spot. And I'm just gonna go in with the same brush. Again, this is a super quick look. Nothing fancy about it. Just underneath like that. You can always use your finger as well. If you feel like you need to kind of get in to the inner corner. Just to kind of even that out. And then we're just going to buff that out. Around the face. Around 
my, my mirror. Just make sure everything's blended out because there was once I did the nursery run and I hadn't actually blended out my concealer so I had a big stripe right down here which was lovely. Yes, my name's Sarah and I'm a professional makeup artist. <laughs> um, yeah, as makeup artists, you know, we're not perfect. We do make mistakes as well. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's just makeup, washes off, blends out. There we go. Easy peasy. So now I've already put the Drunk Elephant um, liquid bronzer on, so... What I'm going to do is, actually, do I have it out? Mm, don't think I do. I'm just going to go in with my Butter Bronzer by, who's this by? Physician's Formula, which you can actually get in Boots now. My brother-in-law picked this up um, in America for me when he was there. Um, and then, I think it was like literally the next week, um, I saw Boots <laughs> stock this brand so yeah it's a really nice super soft bronzer so I'm just gonna go in top some cheekbones to my neck I'm not being too precious about the application of this it's just kind of just like that so I'm gonna go in with the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Pinkgasm. Favourite, favourite, definitely gonna repurchase this. So it's just a liquid blush. Um, you've got a little sponge applicator there. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go right on the apple of my cheek, but I'm just gonna go slightly higher um, just cause my face, um, has more of a round shape so if I was to put it on the apples of my cheeks um, it would just kind of emphasize the roundness so I'm just putting it um, slightly above the apple and then bringing it up I'm just using the same brush that I use for the bronzer um, and then just kind of bringing that up and that's just going to um, emphasize your cheekbones a little bit more and just bring everything up as well for us ladies in our 30s upwards um it's important that we bring everything up the way instead of bringing it down because then we're just going to kind of drag everything down and we really don't want that we want a lift as much lift as possible make everything youthful um and cream blushers are perfect for us girls who are in our 30s or 40s upwards 50 60s plus um you don't want anything too powdery that's kind of going to sit in any lines um so a cream blush or a liquid blush is perfect um yep yeah, so i'm just gonna you can see that it's given really nice glow as well really healthy glow to the skin love it it's my favorite um okay so next i am just gonna leave that to set for a little while i'm gonna go in with another charlotte tilbury product it's the beach stick lip to cheek dewy color pop so i'm not actually going to use it on my lips or my cheeks i'm going to use it on my eyes so i'm just going to take a little bit i'm going to use the mirror for this as well so i'm not coming up close and personal so just a little bit on my finger and i'm just gonna pop it all over the lid just like that just gives a lovely subtle wash of color over the eyelid super pretty super natural super quick as well for us mummies um, ladies on the go So I'm just going to pop that all over. Again, not being precious about it at all. Now I'm going to take my Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Finer Brush. It's a little fluffy brush there. And I'm going to dip it into the bronzer that I used earlier. And then just tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to sit it right into the crease right there. And I'm just going to blend that cream 
eyeshadow out. And this just gives a little bit of definition around the eye, like so. Same thing. Just sit it right in the crease. Back and forth, windscreen wiper motions. Like I say, not being too precious about this. It's just to give a little bit of definition into the eye socket. So that's that done. Um, right, what's next? I'm going to go in with an eyeliner, black eyeliner, and I'm just going to sit it just underneath the lashes. So this gives the lash line a little bit more definition without being too harsh. Maybe you can see the difference there. Not really. I can see it. <laughs> um, yeah, just go under the lash line. So it's called tight lining. And it's just adding a little bit more definition to the lash line without the need for a gel eyeliner or you know a pencil eyeliner on top because when you're in a rush you just want something super quick and easy so this is the perfect option just a little bit underneath the lash line and that's it easy peasy so now i'm going to go in with mascara And this mascara is by Unique and it's the Moodstruck Epic 4D One Step Fibre Mascara. See that one? And I'm just going to go in and use the mirror again. Do you know, I was never really a fan of mascara before. Um, it was just one of those things that I never really tended to reach for. I'm not sure why. Um... But I've been trying out a few different mascaras and um, yeah, I just like that it kind of makes your eyes look more awake, more open. I'm just going in with my finger and kind of blending that out because I've got a few um, bits that are kind of stuck together. So this just kind of fans everything out and makes it a little bit more natural. And again. Same thing. Just go in with my finger. I'm gonna fan that out a little bit. That's it, the sun's coming out. Woohoo! Love the sunshine. I do like all the seasons, but um yeah, I love when we're kind of coming out of winter into spring. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I don't know if I should put the line down or just maybe move you over a little bit. I'm just going to move. Ah, there we go. Um, okay, so what is next? Um, I think I'm going to go for this lippy. This one's by Kiko and it is one of their lipsticks from the Hydra range and it's Shiny Lip Stylo 012. So it's a really pretty kind of coral colour. Um, it's quite bright initially when it goes on, but um, let me just show you a little trick. So I'm just going to put that on right from the bullet, like that. Take your finger. And then just Buff it out like so. Like I've said a couple of times throughout this video, there's nothing precious about this makeup look. It's a super quick, glowing, fresh makeup look. Um, that is literally going to take you, well it's taken me 14 minutes but <laughs> I've been doing a lot of chatting as well. Um, yeah, you only need a few products, I mean I've used a tiny little bit of foundation, a little bit of concealer, liquid blush, mascara, um, you know that cream eyeshadow stick um, or blush stick on my eyes, a lipstick and that's it, you only need a handful of products 
And when I speak to most of my clients, they're always really surprised that my own personal makeup bag contains like literally about five or six items <laughs> compared to my makeup kit that I, I take everywhere with me that is like bursting at the seams, literally bursting at the seams. I might need to get a new case at some point this year. But um, yeah, I mean, my makeup style is super natural. I've never really been one for a heavy sort of makeup look. Um, you know, this is fresh, it's glowy, um, without looking shiny or greasy. Um, yeah, so what I'm now going to do is, I've just done my lips, but what I'm going to do with the leftover um, lipstick is just pop the rest onto my cheeks. Like so. And that just kind of blends everything together. Like so, just gonna watch that it's just gone a little bit on my face there. So just grab your foundation brush, blend it all out. Blend, blend, blend is the key, ladies. Don't want to see any harsh lines. Um, yep, everything's just kind of blended out, it's buffed out, it's natural. Um, yeah. Soft, soft is the way forward. Um, okay, right, brows. I'm just gonna give my brows a, again, I'm not really a big one for brows and filling them out and stuff. So I'm just gonna give them a quick brush through. Sorry, use my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And this eyebrow pencil is from Makeup Revolution, and I got it online via, um, it was Beauty Bay, I picked it up, so I'm just going to quickly fill in the brows, I'm not going to do any sort of shape to them, I'm literally just filling in any sort of gaps. Again, we want to keep this super simple, super easy. I probably suggest if you want, if you're going to work I mean this kind of makeup look is fine for me because I'm just doing errands today but um yeah if you're off out to work or whatever um and you need your makeup to last then I'd suggest using a primer underneath your foundation um and that's just going to give um you a little bit more longevity I'm just going to move you again because that sun it's gorgeous and it's given me a really, like, I'm all about the natural light when I take photos of my bride, um, or brides. Yeah, natural light is the way forward. Um, yeah, as much as I love my um, ring light and it's been so handy for those um, super early starts on the winter mornings, um, it is quite a harsh light, so I'm all about the natural light. You can see that really lovely healthy glow using those cream products. Um, so yeah, um, and what is next? Last but not least, just gonna do a little bit of powder and this is the new Hourglass powder that I picked up. Um, haven't actually used it yet, so I'm just gonna pop a little bit of powder on. Just down the T-zone and do I have a brush? I think I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use this foundation brush actually. Just use a little bit. I'm going to wash all these brushes after anyway, so it's fine. So just a little bit of powder and I'm just going to do that down my T-zone because that's where I find the makeup comes off most if I don't set. Uh, so just super light. Round the T zone, and that is it. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to move you again because <laughs> this light. There we go. Perfect. So, there you have it. Super quick, super easy makeup look using just a handful of products. Um, but yeah, it's just enough to kind of give you enough coverage, um, look super healthy, super glowy, and 
yeah. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Um, I'm gonna list all the products that I used um, in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these videos. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Have a ha very happy Tuesday.